Hi, this is my first, t um, it's not my first time making a video but it's the first time I've spoke directly to a camera and attempt to post it to the internet so I hope that it's okay for a first attempt but I don't know. Um, I've decided to make a video about books so we'll tell you what books that I've got bought this month because I really like reading so I decided that that's the thing I'm most comfortable talking about books. I don't know if you'll be interested but oh well. But I'm just going to talk you through what books I've bought this month. Um, the first one is Insurgent by Baron Karol. It's the second book in the Divergent series or trilogy. I'm not sure but I really like the cover. It's really pretty and purple. I just really like, I really like the colours of the leaves or the, I think the leaves at the top are just really pretty and nice. Um, I think that I prefer the American cover more, the one with the green in the tree, because it matches the first UK cover more, but I still really like this, like, if the other one didn't exist, I'd love it, but anyway, it's the second book in a dystopian series. I've already read the first one and I, I enjoyed it, like, I didn't think it, I love it, but I enjoyed it enough to find out what happens next, and I think I'll probably reread Divergent. So sometimes when you read books the first time, you particular you might not particularly like them that much or not love them, but a second or third time you read them, you could end up really liking it. So I think I'll probably reread Divergent and then read this. Um, the next one is The Fallen Volume One by Thomas. Snigurski. I'm not sure how you pronounce the last name, but um, I found this really randomly in a. I went to a garden centre near my house, and they had like this whole section of bookshelves, and you could get three paperbacks for two pounds. So I thought I'm definitely getting three if they're that cheap. Um, I assume that it's like a bind up of books that have been published previously, um, but it, it just looks really good. I haven't heard that much about it, but. I'm always interested in like paranormal, supernatural type books, so it's a, it appealed to me, and the story sounds good as well. Um, I'm assuming that it's about angels because there's a guy in the front with the angel wings, so and it just sounds good. So I hope I enjoy it. And the next one is <clears throat> *Eon: Rise of the Dragon Eye* by Alison Goodman. Um, this is like a fantasy that set in the past, I think, but it's set in like I think it's set in China, but like ancient China, or oh, I'm not sure, but I think it's just set in the past. Um, it's about a guy who. It's something to do with dragons. The dragon will choose his next apprentice. I'm not sure exactly. It's just something to do with dragons and fighting and. I don't know, it's sort of hard to explain, but it sounds good. And then I, I do like fantasy books, and I really like the cover as well. It's, it's just pretty with the backdrop of the, I don't think you'll be able to see it well, but the backdrop of the like Chinese buildings behind, it's just nice. Um, the next one is Madame Tussaud by Michelle Moran. Um, I picked this one up for a few reasons. The first is that it's set in revolutionary France, like I think it's set in the 1780s and it's about a woman who's, she basically like her and her family own this wax museum in Paris and it does really well. They collect quite a good profit and the Queen comes by, the Queen and her family come to look at the exhibit and they're impressed so they want to come and live at the, the Palace of Versailles and teach the King's sister how to how to make wax figures like Marie does. I think it's just about her getting involved with the world of Versailles and the court. But I haven't got, I haven't probably started reading it yet, but I'll definitely read the whole thing at some point because it is a big book. I think it's 600 and something pages, but it sounds good. And I'm interested in the French Revolution and Marie Antoinette, so that's why I picked it up. And it was really cheap, so I'm glad I got it cheap. Um, the next one is. Hunger by Michael Grant. Um, this is a 
supernatural like science fiction but it's a young adult book so but things are in things are happening in the book in the first book gone that don't seem that much intended for children like there are a few nasty scenes that happen but it's just it's the second book in a series and I've read the first one and the gone the first book it was amazing I just really enjoyed it so much more than I thought I would it's just so gripping and I had to know what happens next I couldn't put it down so I had to get this because they're quite they're quite fat books considering they're aimed at like young teenagers or children or whatever but I just really like it and I like how the pages I don't know if you'll be able to see it but like all the pages on the outside are orange and the first book it had all the pages were green and I just really like how they've done that it makes it stand out on the shelf so I'm really excited to start reading it I'll probably start reading it in the next either next few weeks or the next month but it's definitely one of my next books to read so. um, next one is Slated by Terra Terra um, I think this is a dystopian one I haven't heard that much about it but I've read the description it sounds really good and I've heard I've just heard good things about it from other places and Goodreads this website has got a high score and it's it's just meant to be really good so if anyone goes on Goodreads I think you'll know what I mean by high score but I don't know but anyway I just I really like the sound of it and I really like disturbance so I hope I really enjoy this I'll be disappointed if I don't like it so and I like the cover as well I like how the a little strip of paper or something's across her face. It's just nice. So I'm excited to start reading. Um, the next one is Ingo by Helen Dunmore. Um, I think you can guess by the front cover that it's about mermaids and magic. Um, I got it from a charity shop. Um, I think it's aimed at like young teenagers, but I think that it can be read by anyone. Like it didn't seem too dark. It just seems like a light-hearted story about magic and um, it's about this girl's brother who goes missing and she goes to find him and she finds out about a secret world about mermaids and magic but I haven't probably started it yet but it sounds good and I like the cover I like all the green and blue colours the sparkly bits so I'm looking forward to reading it um, the next one is Hunting Lila by Sarah Alderson um, Again, I haven't heard much about this. I just picked it up because it was cheap and I'd, I'd come across it on a few websites. And it's, again, it's got a high score on Goodreads, so I picked it up because of them reasons and because it's like a paranormal, supernatural sort of story. And I really like that genre of books, so I picked it up because of that reason. But I don't know when I'll get to it. It's not very thick, so. It shouldn't take me too long to read, but I don't know when I'll start reading it, but it sounds good. Um, that's all the books that I've bought this month. Um, I'm currently reading City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare, um, and I really like it so far. But I feel like I'm really behind on reading it because the fifth book's just been released like this year, and this got released in 2008. So. I better read them all and catch up to the fifth one. But I really enjoy it so far, and I really love the covers. I really just love how the so pretty and the shiny. And they're just really nice. Whoever designs them. But I hope my first video talking to the camera wasn't too bad. But if you want to leave a comment, but you don't have to. But I was just a bit nervous about talking to myself in my room. But anyway, bye.